there, I'm Rita Berica, and thank you so much for watching on my YouTube channel. Today we are working on this scroll, and I will say that there were a couple of oops moments in this video, and you will see them sure enough. But um, I started with watercolor and mixing in some brown and red tones because I wanted her to have a little bit of a darker tone um, skin and I didn't go in and add the shadows first which I usually do but sometimes you know you just have to go in and add them later but that's okay I was just kind of excited to paint her because I had um, just finished drawing her so here is my first oops I absolutely love using this big giant um, brush which is super soft what I didn't realize is that it was dropping hair all over my picture and I was so upset because it's a brand new brush and it shouldn't be doing that so um, I'm not happy about that right now so I had to go in and I did love the fact that um, it blended everything so beautifully but it left so many hairs that I just can't I can't justify using it. I'm gonna to have to get another one, maybe a different brand. So um, in here I had to, because I did push all of the color to the sides, um, which was also a really nice effect of this big giant fluffy brush. Um, it pushed a lot of the color to the sides, giving it that shading. And I really liked that effect. I just didn't like all the hairs in there. And there was a couple places that it did leave a mark and I had to um, quickly get those hairs out of the way. So that was my first oops moment in this video. Um, the second you'll see at the end. But you know what? That's how we learn, right? So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to give this, I'm gonna give this brush a wash and see if it can it will stop shedding. Hopefully it does. If not, I'm going to have to return it. I'm not happy right now <laughs> with this brush, but I super duper think that using a big fluffy brush like that is really a good idea to um, spread those colors around. I thought that was really fun. So now you're seeing me go in with the eyes. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I use several colors in the eyes, even if it's all even if I'm saying, okay, I want her to have green eyes or I want her to have brown eyes or I want her to have purple eyes, I will not just use one shade. And the reason for that is because you want to add depth and especially in the eyes because, you know, the eyes, I don't know. To me, to me, the eyes are so important um, and the biggest part of the face that you notice. So I want to make sure that those are done really well and I want to have depth um, and I want to show light, right? Reflecting on the eyes. So you want to have different colors. Um, you want to add your light source and of course the pupils of the eyes. But as we were doing watercolor, we know that we have to do things in layers and not all at the same time in one area so that the colors don't all start blending together. So going in now with her lips, and still pushing around some of the color for the shading. I'm not worried too much that it went into the hair area because I knew for this particular project, I was going to use both watercolor and acrylic because I have this really fun um, shimmery acrylic from Pibio. Um, it's a high viscosity acrylic and it has just the most beautiful shimmer. So I was super excited to make her have this, I don't know, citrine hair. <laughs> um, it ends up being green because I ended up adding some black, black to it, but um, that wasn't my intention. It was a, a beautiful shimmers paint that has a green in it. Um, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. So right now I'm just adding the base of the hair because it is curly and I want to do a bunch of little ringlets and I don't want to have any white in the background. So when I do the ringlets, I want to make sure that there is color 
behind it in case I don't get every single um, part of her hair covered. So I'm adding some blue to the eyes just for some shading and depth so that it's not just all white. I know it seems like a silly thing, but it really does make a difference for some reason. It, it just, and I do have to add layers of white on top of it to make it really pop, but it does make a difference. So watercolor is a, like an ebb and flow. It's constantly, okay, let's work on this section, then work on this section, then work on this section, so that you're not working at two sections that are together and having that wet and wet blended. Unless it was something that you intentionally did, which I do sometimes do. So now that I was getting this color on color, like I really love that acrylic and you can see that it's shimmery, but what I notice is it's not going to show up very well. So I grabbed a um, shimmers watercolor that had, it was green. It was supposed to be green, but it was coming out black on my paper and that happens sometimes. And, um, I really need to label that paint because <laughs> I always forget every time I use it because it looks green but when you put it on your paper it, it's it looks black and it does have a black base to it but it has a green shimmer to it but on camera it looks black and so that's a hard thing sometimes with paint um, and something to consider if you're going to be putting it online if you're going to be selling it because it is deceiving sometimes. And so it, it looked black and I was like, oh man, now I'm gonna have to go with the black because um, I just, I wanted those, those coils and those little curls to show. I just didn't necessarily want them to be black. I wanted them to be a really dark green and keeping it with her hair color. But then I got over it and I'm like, well, we're just gonna go with it because that's what we do here. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to go with it. It's better than starting over. So I went ahead and kept going with those curls and with the black and the green. And then because the really shimmery green, it wasn't enough of a contrast um, on top of the other watercolor and the other thing was because it's um, shimmery, I had to stop what I was doing because I knew if I wanted to add watercolor, I wouldn't be able to if I kept going with that acrylic. So 
in that area I'm going to have to use um, some different materials and that's why I stopped working on that center because I needed that those acrylics to dry so that I can work on top of them with something else with some other blacks so I'm going in with a zero paintbrush to get those fine details like eyeliner and eyelashes And that zero paintbrush has really come in handy. I've got several, but that size has really come in handy. Anytime you're doing any little small detail work. I also use it on the eye, on the eyeball around the color. And you can see here now that we've got that black iris, I think we're good. And I did fill it in because I wanted both irises to match as far as lighting goes so I'm going to put the white on top of it to make that really shine now, if you're doing art at home I would definitely recommend that you have it your artwork on an angle so that you can see it it's not as pretty to, I haven't found a really pretty way to record it at an angle. It just doesn't look nice. It looks nicer when it's flat. Um, so that's why I do it. Uh, that's why I do it flat. But I would definitely recommend standing it up, putting it in an angle. Going in and adding the whites to her eyes so that it looks reflective and sometimes I do it on the lips sometimes I don't because I figure sometimes maybe their lipstick is matte and sometimes it is glossy so if it's glossy you're gonna see a shine on the lip if it's not it's going to be super subtle so I just try to keep uh, a little bit area a little bit of the area a little bit lighter than the rest of the lip So for the finishing touches, I did add a little bit more of that iridescent green acrylic paint with my palette knife, just to fill in any areas that felt a little bit emptier or dull. And some finishing touches on her eyes and then she was good to go. I hope that you enjoy this video and that you will subscribe to my channel and like this video as well. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.